Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We've got a little hero section here with a title and an image in the background. When we hover over it, that title is going to change and also the image is going to have a hover effect color. So if I hover over it, there we go. Title's changed and it's changed to that sort of bluish nightlife type color. If I take it off, it'll fade back out again and the image is going to return to how it was. That's a nice little effect to have on your site. No coding involved in this today. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Okay, well, I'm going to go down and add a new section below this one. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm going to put in a single column. I'm also going to drop in a call to action module because we can use its button. This will work with pretty much any module you want to use. I'm going to save this and just delete our top one up here. Let's get rid of this. So we've got a section, the blue tab. Inside it, we've got a row, the green tab, and a module, the dark tab right here. As this is a hero section, I'm going to want to make my row full width and take away any padding in the row and the actual section itself. So the module occupies the whole of the space there. So let's do that. I'm going to go into the section. I'm going to go to design, spacing. I'm going to put a zero in the padding. Just put the zero, it'll put the picks in for you. Now I'm going to hit the chain to do the opposite side. So we've taken away any padding that was in our section there. I'm going to do the same for the row, the green tab. Design, spacing padding and we've taken it away from the row if I hover over here you can see that our little module is now butted up against the top and bottom of our section and the row there which is just what we want next thing we want to do we want to make this row full width so it covers the whole of the visible area there so let's go back into our row I'm going to go into sizing this time I'm going to go to the design tab down to sizing. I'm going to pull the width up to 100%. I'm going to copy it, control C, and paste it down below. And as you can see, we've got a full width section there. Okay, we're good there. Now let's go back into our little module here. And we can make it the height that we actually want it. For a hero section, we want a fairly big section that's going to grab people's attention. So I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go down to sizing again on this one. I'm going to roll down to height. I'm going to take it down to the size that we want it. As you can see, that blue is expanded. Just put it to where you want it. I'm going to have mine about 600 pixels. You can slide or you can type in a value. You can fine tune with the little arrows to the right hand side there. Great. Now, I don't want that title way up the top there. I want it a little further down. So let's use a bit of padding to push that down. I'm going to roll up, close sizing. Just underneath we've got spacing. Here's padding. I'm going to give it, say, 10% on the top. So I'm going to write just 10 and percent there. Yeah, that works for me. You may have noticed there's no button there. This is a call to action module and the button won't show up until you put a link in there. So let's go over the content tab. Here's the link. This is where you put the link in for a button. There's the button link URL. I'm just going to put a hashtag. As soon as I put that in there, the button shows up. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. If you want to link the whole of the module to something, you can put a link in there. Same best practices. OK, I want to split that text up a bit so that it doesn't take up too much width there. So again, in content, let's go back up to our text at the top here. And obviously, you'd have some content. I don't have any real content. I'm just going to split mine up. I'm going to use Shift Enter so it just does one line. Yeah, that's going to work for me. OK, so we want that title to change on hover. Let's put a real title in there anyway. Let's say visit our city. 
or obviously anything you want to put in yours. Then when we hover over this module, I'm going to have that flip to something else. And to do that, this is common to most Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing there, you'll see some little icons appear to the right. Hover over to the thing that you want to affect here. If there's an arrow there, we can set a hover state and a desktop state. Desktops when your mouse is not on it. Hover is when your mouse is on it. So when we're not on it, I'll leave it as that. When we hover over it, I'm going to say amazing nightlife or something like that. So on desktop, when we're not hovering, it's going to say visit our city. And when we are, it's going to say amazing nightlife. If you wanted to change the text down below, you could do this similar thing. But I'm going to leave mine just as it is. OK, well, that's going to work, but let's make it a little more interesting. I wanted to have a nice hero image behind there of a city. So let's do that. Still on content, we're going to roll down to background here. I'm going to leave that blue color in there and you'll see why in a minute. You can choose any color you want. But I'm going to go ahead and go over to image and add an image as well. Now I've got a sort of image of a city there. Let's pop that one in. And there it is. The colors actually disappeared. But what we can do, if we roll down a little bit, you've got background image blend. And we can blend the image with the color that we had there. So just click where it says normal there and they've got all kind of different filters here and you get some amazing effects by applying it. That's pretty cool right there. But I'm actually going to use multiply. That was luminosity I was on there. And what it does, it mixes that color as you can see with the image. Now, just to make it a little more interesting, let's bring up our hover state here. Again, the little arrow on desktop. I kind of want that color to be less visible. So what I'm going to do is go into the color, the little paint pot right there, click on the actual blue color itself. This right variegated slider on the side there is opacity, transparency or see-throughness. So I'm going to drag this all the way down to the bottom. So we still got our original photo. That blue is there, but it's just invisible or transparent. Then when we hover over it, again, I'm going to go to that color. I want to click on that color now. I'm going to bring that all the way up. So we've got that blue effect on it. So when we're not hovering over it, there's the original. When we hover over it, there's a sort of nighttime image. Now to make it a little more dramatic, I'm going to use a transition effect so that that color fades in over about two or three seconds. To do that, I'm going to go over the advanced tab going to go down to transitions and you can drag this thing and set 2000 milliseconds would be two seconds you can type in a value I'm going to make mine 3000 milliseconds or three seconds there we go transition delay I don't want any delay I want it to start as soon as they put their mouse on it and the speed curve I'm going to use today is ease in ease out they're all slightly different some are better than others in certain situations so try them out but ease in ease out is usually what i use for fade effects okay if we've done everything correctly now we should be good to go save our changes save the page changes and exit the visual builder OK, there's our initial image with Visit Our City. When I hover over it, that title is going to instantly change. And our image is going to take three seconds to morph into that little color there. So let's try it out. There we go. There's our nightlife title. And there's our image changing. When I let go, the title is going to flip back. And the image should ease back. There we go. And that's a nice little effect to have on your website. Now, as with a lot of these hover type effects, they're not going to work too well on tablets and mobile. So I'd create a different section by just simply, well, let's do it. I'll demonstrate. Let's enable the visual builder again. And what we can do is actually copy this whole section here. So let's go into the section. Hit the two little buttons to clone it or duplicate it. There we go, we got two of the same. This top one, let's go in there. 
I'm going to go over to advanced and visibility and we just want to show this one on the desktop. So disable on phone and tablet. And the one below, we're going to do the opposite. I'm going to go in there, blue for the section. Again, over to advanced visibility. I'm going to di disable this one on desktop. As you can see, it's grayed it out because we're in desktop mode. And what you could do if you wanted, if you wanted to keep that little hover effect and get them to tap on it, we could go into the module and just add a line of text here. And there we go. We've got one for mobile and tablet and we've got one for desktop. So let's just save our changes. Exit the Visual Builder. And there's our desktop view. And let's check it on tablet and mobile. I'm using Google Chrome here with the inspector tool. So if I hit F12, it'll bring up my inspector. Let's move this out of the way. I've got a little responsive toggle down here. So there it is on a tablet. We've got our tap here. So we can tap on it. It changes to amazing nightlife and turns color tap off of it, flips back and turns back color. Let's have a look on an iPhone. There we go. Again, we can tap on it. Amazing nightlife, changes color, tap off of it. And it turns back to how we were. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a hero section with a title flip and color change on hover. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.